Hey, Dr. Amy here. Over the last 13 years, I've worked with thousands of women who have fully recovered from cancer, and here is exactly what I've learned. Women who successfully recover from cancer and stay cancer-free do these five habits every single day. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do so that you can do the same five habits and recover from cancer and stay cancer-free. Starting with number one, they eat simple food. Number one on this list is the importance of maintaining a nutritious and simple diet. Successful cancer survivors understand the importance of fueling their body with nutritious food. They opt for simple ingredients and whole foods. They create meals that are not only packed with nutrition, but they're delicious. From vibrant fruits and vegetables to lean protein, these cancer survivors focus on fueling their body with whole and unprocessed foods. Women often ask me for complex recipes or for recipes that include exotic ingredients that are hard to find. And my answer is always simple, don't do it. Because there's no one magical ingredient or recipe that will make your cancer go away or stay away. But by keeping things simple, it allows you to have more control. By adding in more vegetables or fiber or protein, you're able to turn things up or down with more control. If you need a place to start, I've linked up my recipe book below, 15 Simple Cancer Recovery Recipes for Women. These recipes are simple for a reason, and now you know why. Click the link below to get your free copy. Now remember, eating simple does not mean you're gonna sacrifice flavor. It's about making conscious choices to nourish your body. And that's exactly what this free recipe book is gonna do. Okay, let's move on to number two. The second habit that successful cancer thrivers do is that they make exercise a priority. Successful cancer survivors, they prioritize exercise in their daily routine. By recognizing the importance of a holistic approach, they prioritize both nutrition and exercise every single day. They incorporate a mix of cardio and strength training into their exercise routine. It's known that exercise in and of itself can lower your risk of a cancer recurrence by up to 59%. This is a massive risk reduction and this is exactly why exercise has played a key role in my own personal cancer recovery and remission. I always prioritize exercise. While I'm on vacation or if I have a busy work week, my exercise is always going to get done. This is a big part of what has helped me stay cancer free for so long. Now, the most important thing about exercise after cancer is doing something that you love, whether it's Pilates or walking or strength training. Yes, it's important to do a combination of cardio and strength training, but it's more important to do something you love. If you love it, then you're gonna stick with it long term and that is what's truly important. Now, the most successful cancer survivors find exercises that fit their fitness level and their routine. Plus, many successful cancer survivors commit to walking 10,000 steps a day. This is a simple yet effective way to stay active and to maintain your cardiovascular health. Now, it's not easy. No one is saying that. Moving your body after cancer or getting up to 10,000 steps a day, that's tough. If you have a desk job or a busy schedule, it's hard to get it done. But cancer thrivers make it a priority and they quickly fit it into their schedule. That actually leads me to another quality, but I'm gonna get to that later on in this video. Now, let's move on to the third habit. The third thing that cancer thrivers do is they create a cancer recovery mindset. Successful cancer thrivers focus on a mindset of continuous learning and improvement. Now many cancer thrivers will say, I'm changed after cancer, this is my new normal, this is my new reality, there's nothing I can do about it. And that is a fixed mindset. A cancer recovery mindset focuses on what you can control and how you can change things moving forward. Now, many women will tell me that they have a positive mindset, and that may be true. Plus, it'll definitely help you navigate cancer. But it's about more than just being positive. It's about continuously creating a mindset where you're able to successfully and quickly navigate obstacles and roadblocks. For more direction on how to shift your mindset after cancer, check out the book Mindset by Carol Dweck. This is a transformative book that I read 
once a year. It's not only helped me navigate life as a cancer thriver, but it's also helped me become a better partner, a better mother, and more successful in my work. The most successful cancer thrivers understand the impact of a cancer recovery mindset, and they implement that every day. By cultivating that cancer recovery mindset, they work every day on affirmations, expressing gratitude, and creating resilience to overcome obstacles. This type of mindset becomes a cornerstone in navigating cancer recovery and remission. Your mindset can be a driving force in your cancer recovery. Now, let's move on to the fourth habit of the most successful cancer thrivers. The fourth quality of the most successful cancer thrivers is that they're a student of their own health. Successful cancer thrivers become an avid student of their own health. They go beyond the basics, continuously learning about their own diagnosis, their treatment, their body. By staying informed, these cancer thrivers are empowered to successfully ask questions and collaborate with their healthcare team for better care. A stage four cancer thriver that I work with in the Cancer Freedom Program is truly the definition of this. Jennifer has lived years after her original cancer diagnosis, and she continues to push for new treatments, new procedures, new tests, new detection strategies, anything that's either gonna help her live longer or help her enjoy her life more. She is a true student of her health. Now, being a student of your health does not mean you don't trust your doctor. Not at all, but you're informed, so you're able to ask intelligent questions and really be part of your own care team. But this dedication to learning that the most successful cancer thrivers have, it actually extends beyond cancer. They also invest time, energy, and make financial commitments to better understand and support their bodies. Okay, so now let's explore the fifth and final habit of the most successful cancer thrivers. The fifth habit is that they're able to adapt quickly to changing circumstances. The most successful cancer thrivers understand that life is unpredictable, and so is cancer. If a particular treatment or lifestyle isn't getting the results that they need, then they quickly adapt and change. They quickly learn from experiences and adapt to further support their health. This means that they need to adapt to new side effects or they need to shift their exercise schedule as different seasons transition. Whether it's modifying treatment plans or adjusting their schedule or incorporating new foods, they're able to adapt quickly and make those changes. That's a key element to their success as a cancer thriver. But look, these habits, although they work incredibly well for cancer thrivers, they also work well for most people. Navigating cancer does not need to be complicated. The first thing to do is to create basic healthy habits that will serve you very well. The issue is that a lot of cancer survivors are searching out novel treatments or supplements without first addressing these basic concepts of their health. But without doing the basics first, you're missing out on a massive piece of your cancer recovery and remission. The other issue that many cancer survivors face is that they feel that they're unable to take on these basic healthy habits because they're limited by their treatment. They either can't find the time to exercise, they don't have the ability to exercise like they used to, or they just don't have the appetite to eat healthy foods. But going back to that same key quality and habit of quickly adapting, well, you need to quickly adapt to your changing appetite and your changing exercise abilities to continue to push forward. Okay, so now that you know these five habits of the most successful cancer thrivers, now you need to know how to put it into action. That's why I'm linking up this next video here on a sneak peek into my own personal daily activities as a seven year cancer thriver. This is how I'm thriving after cancer seven years and counting. Click the link here, I'll see you in the next video.